Hi everyone, so it's now Monday morning and we're getting on with the build work again or the renovation work again. Uh, my job for today is to get on with repairing these windows, um, these two windows at the front of the house. For those that have been with us for a year, when we first moved in here, you might remember that we did do the windows in the kitchen area. Uh, this is our living area which we've knocked the wall down in and we're extending so part of that uh, renovation project is to replace these the glass in these windows uh, we've ordered the glass about a year ago so we've still got that and uh, my job today is just to tidy it or take all the old glass out tidy up all the metal work then we're going to paint it then we're going to put the glass in whilst I'm doing that you might remember that we had shutters on this window as well and Elaine's getting on with preparing the shutters. So it'll be a really nice window once it's done. I also realised that these aren't the correct tools for the job, but really what we're doing is we're just using any tools that we have. Most of our tools are really old anyway. I'm not going to be using these for chiseling any wood or anything like that. And to be honest with you, this is doing a fantastic job of getting the old, uh, What's this called in here, Elaine? Right? Putty. Putty, yeah, getting the old old uh, solid putty out. Yeah, doing a really good job. And we're getting a really clean, um, really clean edge, actually. Once we've got all of the putty out and all of the glass out, then obviously we're going to uh, wire brush it. That's the word. We're going to wire brush it and sand it down before we paint it. But at the minute, just getting the glass out, doing really well with this. Okay. I have a feeling it could even be concrete. It's that hard. <laughs> I was going to say putty, but yeah, putty does go hard, I think, after well, yes. a while. But honestly, it is really hard, yeah. It's, uh, it's very resilient. It is probably actually concrete, to be honest, yeah. Uh, There's concrete everywhere else here. So. <laughs> they've concreted the windows in, yeah, probably. I wonder, actually, I wonder if we should do a test on that and see what that actually is. No. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is a bit of a critical one because I'm at the top now as opposed to these ones which are quite relatively easy. But I'm at a difficult one now because it's just gonna, I'm gonna have to just pop it out basically as carefully as I can. Because it's loose. There we go. Okay. So it's quite brittle. Um, so yeah, the reason we're taking the glass out is because it's old and it's very, very brittle as well. It's very thin compared to the new modern glass that we bought, isn't it? Is it? Very thin. It's probably a millimetre, and I think well, that we bought two, yeah. uh, probably a millimetre. <laughs> and the stuff that we bought, I think, was four millimetres. I think yeah. that's what he yes he four said we had to yeah. have. Yeah. So we're uh, yeah, so we're replacing it with a stronger, better product as well, which is definitely worth doing. Cool, I'll get on with taking this out then. Yep. Okay, glasses up. Okay. That's not two millimetres long, I can tell you that for now. <laughs> And that's how it's, but it's very strangely strong when you hit it with a hammer, it doesn't just crack and fall out. Okay, so that's actually come out really, really well, I think. Yeah, really good. And what I did before Darren started work was take a, a rug and hang it over the window. Because the shutters are off, obviously the sun is streaming in onto the front of the house, like directly where he's working. And that's just helping to keep the temperature a lot cooler than it would be with the sun streaming in. And here's my workstation under the shade of an olive tree. I'm just painting up um, the shutters. They are quite rough. They're not like the most fabulous, but they do an excellent job. They were all painted dark brown like all of the rest of the wood in the house. So we sanded them yesterday and now I'm just giving them a quick coat of emulsion that's just soaking in and then next time we go into town I'll look for some gloss paint I think and then give them a top coat of gloss paint. Okay, so 
Right. Very good. Not even cracked. Save it for another project. Because I, I hit it with a hammer. <laughs> so it might just be a millimetre, possibly two millimetres, but I hit that with a hammer and it didn't break, it just came out. Very good. Is that weird? Yeah. Yeah. These shutters are just soaking up the paint like a sponge. Sorry. And uh, these inner bits here oh. are just made of like a really old chipboard or fiberboard, cardboard, something like that. Uh, lots of it flaked off when they were sanded yesterday. And the brown paint is seeping straight through. But as I say, this is just a quick undercoat. And then when I get some gloss paint, I'm sure that will help make them lovely and white. Taking the pieces of glass out, um, some of them are actually about one millimetre, but the lane was right, and there is also some pieces that are about two millimetres as well. Um, and what Elaine said about this stuff, I think she's right, this is actually concrete. So yeah, that's what we were working with originally. Um, yeah, okay. Still looking better, <laughs> even with no glass. It looks better without the glass, exactly, yeah. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming out quite easy, quite easy, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, this also then gives me an opportunity to show you how our room has yeah. evolved. Mm. So let me it's actually slowly. Nice and clear now. Shall I go down yeah. here? Give an idea again. So this is where our wall originally was. Took that wall down and we've cleared everything out now so we can see what we're working with. We've blocked up this door on the side here. So now it's all just one room. Uh, this door we haven't finished. We'll show you that a little bit later on because we've just done the preliminary work, but it is, it is blocked. Yeah, so uh, this is the size now. It's, it's looking really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we've said before that we've never done anything in what was the storeroom there. Yeah, it's not been um, painted or, yeah. I mean, it's had a good sweep through a couple of times, but that's, that's the most of it. Yeah. So behind Darren, you can see where we rebuilt the wall and then that's all been rendered. Um, it's all fully dry now. So I'm going to give that a quick coat just with emulsion so it can all sort of soak in and then I'm going to start cutting in around the edges and the ceiling so that we can give it a first coat of emulsion. Sounds like a really good idea. Yep, brighten it all up. Yeah, brighten it all up and that's going to make so much difference as well isn't it? Yeah. Just in this space because it is a little bit, well we've blocked the window up as the well. The window's so blocked bit, so yeah. yeah it's not making the most of it. It's not the... making the most but it's looking, it's looking really really good. Yeah. Yep. I'll get on with taking that glass out. Get back to work. <laughs> <sighs> Quick break. Bread man's just been un par grande. <sighs> Keep us fed. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Recycling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we're going in to Castello. Now we take the recycling. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday morning today, 
and uh, we are off to pick up some supplies from a couple of shops. We need to get some more plasterboard. Mm -hmm. We need to get some no more nails glue and some other bits and bobs, don't we really? Paint. Bits and paint. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, so into Castello Branco and we'll take you along with us. Come on then. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> Max is happy because he's got all his seats back. Yeah, yeah, that's quite cool. <laughs> he's happy again. So Max Matt was a full success. We have got our plasterboard. Darren's just sort of cut it. We've got a rough, just overestimated um, width that we need. And this is the spare bit. We got no more nails. We got Sigaflex for the window pins. Same one we used before, works really, really well. Um, a roller on a stick, that's already hidden in there for yeah. the ceilings and a big tub of paint yeah and i can't lift so no so we'll get that in the back of the car and that's pretty much uh where we're, we're all at. done yeah we're all done <laughs> let's go on <laughs> brilliant well that's little done as well so we have food for the rest of the week um just wanted to share with you what we spent in max mat so you know our budget is really tight. Um, it's not the first time that we've spent anything on the house renovation so far, but that was the most that we've spent in one shopping trip. Yeah. And it was 66 euros. Okay. 66 euros for three tubes of sticky stuff, a huge tub mm. of paint, a roller on a stick, and a sheet of plasterboard. Yeah, well remembered. Yeah. <laughs> so I think before then we've probably spent 20 euros and then probably another 20 something euros from what I remember well, so far on what we've spent buying new stuff to renovate the village house. Oh okay. Yeah but that's it so far on this. Because we're using a lot of the stuff that we've already yeah. got. Yeah. That we've already right. got, yeah. that we've got left yeah. over from the garden house. Mm -hmm. um, yeah so. Yeah keeping the budget really tight but hoping for a good finish yeah i think it will be yeah right hello it's another day not sure which one we're back on working uh we were in castello branco this morning as you've probably just seen and we got some good supplies to keep us going for probably the rest of the week along with all of the materials that we already have either here in the village house or from down on the garden house on the land. So we're trying to use up as much as we can of what we already have before we buy anything new. My job today or this afternoon is to get these metal um, window frames painted. I have paint left over from the last one and the front door I sort of mixed two together to get almost the same colour as before and uh, I should have more than enough to give these a good coat. Darren did an excellent job of getting the glass out and cleaning them all up. He went in with a, a wire brush and they've come out really well. I'm just going to give them a quick wash to get any bits of dust and any stuff off and in this heat it's going to 
dry super fast. So I'll crack on with that. The great thing about these um, windows, I think they're called like a crittle window, is that all of the moving parts still work, so they're still fully lockable. Um, as old as they are, they're just brilliant. Max is just determined to lie in the road. He just wants to be exactly in between where Darren's working outside and I'm working inside. Come inside. It's too hot out there. Come on. Yeah. Come get a biscuit. Come on. So I've finished painting all of the windows. Both sides are done and the edge and the outside. Uh, not too badly covered in gloss paint <laughs> and just have to leave that to dry so that'll be a stinky evening this evening but at least with no window there's lots of ventilation good morning and now it's Wednesday another lovely day we're starting early we're excited to get on with the jobs that we have today because we think it's going to be quite transformational um, joining or marrying the two separate rooms into one now that the wall has gone and we've kept all of the marriage secret from you so that'll probably be at the end let's have a look so today we always get to lunchtime and we're starving and then it's only just like some bread and hummus or whatever got organized when I was walking Max I got some um, big cabbage leaves from my garden and I had some pumpkin and other veg so I've got a soup on so that'll be lovely for today and tomorrow for lunch here we go so I've got onions a red pepper the stalks from the cabbage leaves and a large piece of pumpkin few carrots and some stock cubes all in there and that's just needing to cook for 10 minutes then it'll all get whizzed up then I'll shred my cabbage leaves pop them back in cook them for a couple of minutes and that will be a delicious lunch for today and tomorrow nice and healthy as well so good morning so my job today is to be getting the glass put into these window frames so Elaine's painted them yesterday, looking really, really smart, bright red and clean and shiny. I've just did a quick test and the panes of glass still fit. <laughs> <laughs> you always had a problem with this smaller pane. It always just a slightly yeah. smaller hole. I mean, fractionally smaller, but I've tested it and it does fit. So it should be a simple case of just putting them in and sticking them in. That's my hope anyway. So that's my job for today. Yeah. So we've had two nights where there's been no glass in the window, no problem. but with the shutter yeah. and the fly screen on. Yeah. Yep, hasn't been an issue because yeah. it's still so warm, isn't it? It is, yeah. But, and it looked quite nice with no glass in actually because it just looks really clean. Yeah, super clean windows. Super clean windows, yeah. <laughs> the other job that Darren has to do is take off this door frame. Uh, we just left it <laughs> because there were so many other jobs ongoing for this room but yeah. it needs to go now and you'd, and I'm also going to use a bit of that wood to um, build up the skirting area aren't I but you want this taken off because you're going to be doing a mix today yeah for the center of the um, house center of the room so if you have any spare mix we can put that into the wall yeah here as absolutely well. so I'm just trying yeah. to kind of think ahead a little bit rather than wasting any of the mix that we mix yeah so yeah, so we're going to take this off. It has to go anyway, so we might as well do it today. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and the mix Darren's talking about is me covering over the plasterboard where we blocked up this doorway. So I'm going to give it a quick sweep on the floor and then 
get the render mixed and get that on. Hopefully it should just all merge in seamlessly. It will. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! It's because when they were put in originally, looks like the frame was put in and then the floor was concreted over the top because they're held in by concrete at the bottom, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, so the concrete was an afterthought. <laughs> no. Well. The frames were in first and then concreted the floor, yeah. So, very interesting way of doing it. But, Lovely. Uh, Nevertheless, that's that done. Yeah. Yeah, that's out. I've got my piece of wood, and what I'm doing is building up this section here. So it's like the skirting board, we would call it in the UK, except it's usually wood there. So this room came along to here where the wall was, and it has this extra lip, like an edge to finish the flooring. Um, that's maybe one and a half centimetres wide then the next room has exactly the same but because the wall was here then there wasn't any so I'm remaking and joining them together as I look down into it there is a slight discrepancy probably on the depths of the room this one comes more this way this one goes more that way so I'm going to try and even it out and just pack it in. So I've got my um, piece of scrap wood that Darren's just taken out of the door frame. I've got it wedged in with half a breeze block and a tin of paint and I'm using all of the professional tools, an old knife, and I'm squishing it down trying to make it level this way and then level between the two existing pieces of skirting board. Okay, so the glass is going in really, really well, really straightforward. One thing I forgot, because we ordered these panes of glass uh, about a year ago, was that when we did the windows in the kitchen, we noticed by putting them in that there was the two top frames, this one and this one, were just slightly smaller, about three mil smaller than the main windows here. That was the mistake we made on those windows, but we rectified that when we came to doing these ones. It's just that I forgot about it. So we did actually go and get the, the glass made three millimeters smaller. I just forgot that we did that. So I've had a little bit of stress trying to fit a window in that I realized that we actually have panes that will fit in there absolutely perfectly. And it is fitted in absolutely perfectly. So I've got to do this one, I think, yeah? So we got done, done, I need to do this one, and that one's in. So moving along really quickly actually. And then I think once these are in place and stuck in with the Sikaflex is what we were using, uh, then what we'll do is we'll put a little wood trim just around the outside of the windows as well, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Another mistake that we made with the window in the kitchen was that we used white Sikaflex to stick the glass into a red window. On this uh, window frame, we've used like a, it's kind of a, a nice brownie color, but it blends in really nicely with the red paint at least. So this is the Sikaflex that we're using, made for glass, and it worked on the window in there. So we thought we'd try it again here, really easy, sticking the windows in really well. So that's all the glass put in the window frames now, looking really, really smart, looking a lot smarter than our first attempt in the kitchen. Uh, I'm a lot more pleased with that, gone in really, really well. I think definitely because this top pane, uh, which was the pane actually in that, in that room there, but it fitted in perfectly here, I think that's what made the job a lot, lot easier. The reason we use Sikaflex as well, we did use, try to use some putty, but we couldn't, we tried two or three different types of putty and none of it worked. It just was like either really, really runny or just, it just didn't seem to be doing a really, really good job at all. So that's why we did use Sikaflex because it's waterproof, really sticky. It's like a grab adhesive as well. So I can put the glass in and you can feel it grabbing to that glass and it works well against the glass and the metal. So yeah, uh, that's the reason we use Sikaflex over a putty, which was very difficult to buy in the first place. Then we couldn't find one that worked. So that's that, yeah, already all done. We're just gonna let that dry 
eventually give it a few days and we'll, as I said we'll put some wood frames around it but that'll be in a few days time. This is different to that on yeah. the finish because that's how the house has evolved. Definitely has. So yeah, that's how it works. Cool. Yeah. the door we're all finished and plastered in, rendered in. What we did over the last few days, Darren made a frame, um, basically that just covers the two uprights and three horizontals. He then packed it in with some insulation that we had left over from the garden house just to help with noise reduction. And now it's all cemented. A little bit rough here on one side, but once it's dry, I can go over with a wire brush and kind of blend it in. This side and this side of the original render are much more rough than this finish that I've put on, but I'm okay with that. I'm certainly not gonna skim all the walls. Um, yeah, so quite happy with that. We'll leave that to dry and crack on with some other jobs. Friday morning, back on it again. And uh, this is for video release tomorrow saturday so we're hoping to get quite a lot <laughs> quite a lot of this work finished off this week if we can so my job for today we've just done a big tidy up in here because it would be living in a mess for the last three or four days but my job for today is to get these planks of wood into into the wall basically we're going to be using these to cover up the rough edge that was made when we took the wall out here so we've got, these are the woods that we used on our house build and uh, we're reusing them in here. So we've sanded them down, given them a really good sand. And as you can see, we've preserved them with wood preserver, just more for the color really. And they're a nice soft feel to them, not like the rough wood down on the house. So yeah, so my job today, as I said, to get that into there. And we're also gonna be putting a shelf across the top as well. So, and this, this will hold that shelf in. Let's give it a go. So we're not using screws or roll plugs or nails or anything like that. There's a big heavy piece of wood, but drilling them into this wall, the wall's just gonna fall apart, as you've seen from when we've been repairing it. It is solid enough, we believe, to hold the no more nails, but to hold a roll plug, we'll just be filling the roll plug with no more nails anyway. So we figured we may as well just straight for the no more nails. It will be wedged in really tightly and we feel that that's what's gonna hold it in place. So here's the first bit ready. It's gonna get a lane and we'll push it up against the wall and hopefully it'll grab. That's the idea. Give it a go. Oh, yeah, that was left. No. That's my left. Yeah, so you need to go left. Okay. More left. Is it straight? I can't see. That's your job, not mine. Yeah, but you're in. No way. I think okay. that's quite straight. Top needs to go left a bit. Okay, so like that. Yeah, there we go. I think that's pretty straight. So as Elaine would say, the eagle-eyed amongst you, 
would notice that this is a chunky piece of wood. It's actually three layers of wood. And the reason for that is, as we've explained, I think, on a previous video, this wall here is further out than this wall here. So we've had to adjust with a piece of wood down this side so we can also stick this to this wall. There's only like two layers on that side. So we have two layers there, three layers there. Hopefully that'll make sense. Yeah, and that's, that's grabbed. As soon as I put that on, you could feel it grab. I think it might hold. We've used a whole tub, a whole tube of, uh, of no more nails. So yeah, let's hope that works. Yeah. You got it? Yep. Yeah. You're in place? Yeah. You got a good hold on it? Uh-huh. Okay. Good. Oh, go. except I'm the wrong way around. Can you just hold it while I turn around? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because then I won't be able to help you with looking at the other way. Okay. That's it. Well, that hasn't gone in as tight as it did before now. You lift, you're lifting it when we need to kind of just let it drop a little bit on the back. It's fine. Just keep it that way. Okay. Okay, we got it? Yeah. Okay. Difficult because now you can't see what you're doing at that end. But it's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to take this out. No, actually, it's not too bad, actually. So, do you just need to whack it in? I don't know, because it's not... Yes, I do. That's, <laughs> that's it. That's in. Well, that actually works better than I thought it was going to. Um, because we've got lots of different levels on the walls and I've had to rebuild bits um, at the bottom, we sort of thought we just had to get one piece in and stuck and then the top piece would go in and then this side would wedge that in. And that's kind of how it worked. But we do, this has a twist in it. So what Darren's doing is cutting a piece of wood and we're gonna to try to just wedge that in with some glue and see if it'll help straighten the twist on the wood. And I'm clearing off all the excess glue that just oozed out. I think that was a good success. I think it was a very good success, yeah. I'm wondering if I just get the wrong piece of wood now. No, it should be okay. Yeah. So I think we'll put some more glue into here. Yeah. And then we'll wedge this in and hopefully that will stick yeah. to that. But it's definitely wedged it in, hasn't it? Yeah, it's really good. It's really good actually, yeah. Okay, more glue. More glue. So we've eventually got this in place here and <laughs> because of the twist in the top piece of wood we're going to have to put another wedge in on the opposite side. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we've just got enough no more nails left in order to straighten this top piece of wood. I think it's going to stick really well on that side and then all we've got to do now is just bend it in down this side and some more no more nails and wedge that in. Basically the same as what we've done here, we're going to do there. Yeah. But hopefully we do a better job this time because we've learned from our mistake. <laughs> well in the end this has worked out really well. Um, the idea that we had when we came up with it was to try and marry the two rooms together uh, we didn't know at the time that we would have differences in the wall depths, so quite a few obstacles to overcome. What we didn't want to do was just to plaster over and try and make it into one homogenous room because that's not what it was and that wouldn't have worked. 
So with this plan, it gives a bit of a feature. We've got a shelf on either side for little bits and bobs and it just helps to define the space, I think. What we're gonna get on with is a lot more painting. You can see that we've got a fair bit of a first coat done, uh, but it's feeling more finished, even though we're not done, not done by a long stretch yet. But I think we're gonna leave it there. So thank you very much for spending time with us. Take care and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye.